It's kind of a gloomy, overcast day here in South Louisiana, but conditions are supposed to improve a good bit tomorrow, and that's a good thing because I'm on a bit of a road trip. I'm heading down to Empire, Louisiana, right in the heart of Plaquemines Parish, to go fishing with Captain Matt Kerr. Now, Matt's a guy I've interviewed a number of times over the course of my career, but I've never fished with him. He's got a fantastic reputation, however, as an excellent fisherman who always seems to find the fish. And I know lately he's been on a really, really good bite. So I'm looking forward to it, but of course, half the fun is getting there. And you know in South Louisiana, any road trip involves food, and there are so many great places to eat. Down on Highway 23, I just gotta figure out which one I wanna stop at. All right, I stopped and ate at a place called Thompson's Kitchen. I ate there a number of times years ago when it was called Cajun Kitchen. Food was good then, and it's really good now. Very impressed. And now I just pulled up to Delta Marina down here in Empire, Louisiana. Now the beauty of fishing here in Empire is that you can fish the west side of the Mississippi River or you can cross over and fish the east side. I suspect that's what we're gonna do tomorrow because we got a west wind today and it's supposed to blow out the west again tomorrow. So you got some good protection over on that side. But this is our home for the night. Let's go check out our room. This. this is a really nice place. I came here a year ago when the owner, Mitch Jurisic, was fixing this place up. And let me tell you, he put a lot of work into it. It really looks good. I get used to this. All right, I slept like a baby last night. Really great accommodations here at Delta Marina. It's 5.20 in the morning right now. Sky's still dark, just barely a hint of sunrise. I'm supposed to meet Mad Care. He's launching his boat here at 5.45. Got a little bit of time to kill. I'm gonna go run down and see what's happening at the marina. What's up, man? Hey, yes. How you Doing good. How are you? Stuff like a baby, man. Uh, he, nice he, he place. Good for oh yeah, it's perfect. Yep. Yeah, those rooms are nice and roomy. Oh yeah, definitely. the deal of going to the east side out of Delta Marina is that you have to go through a lock and we're about to do that. Right, Matt and I pulled up to a point that is absolutely loaded with mullet. Definitely see something crashing it, or at least it's getting a little bit nervous here and there. I'm throwing an H&H &H number four gold blade with a quarter ounce death grip jig head and a shrimp creole major shad. Matt is throwing, what color, what color gulp, Matt? Uh, white and chartreuse. White and chartreuse gulp under a cork. And we did bring some live shrimp just in case we need it. And we may, but we'll see. Visibility here is about maybe 14 inches, I'd say. A little better. It's a little better right now. I can see the footage. Maybe, maybe 18. Yeah. It'll probably get a little bit better once we get up on that point. Okay. We didn't catch one first cast. I don't want to. That's all right. Like that's. One. Look at that snake. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that was a snake. That was a jack. It's a jack. <laughs> yeah. Look at the jack fin. Look at that. Look is at that. that. A shark? That's a shark. Might be a shark. It is a shark. Please don't bite my bait. I know, and I'm sitting here playing with them. Uh -oh. Uh oh, you got him. <laughs> you got him. I was just about to reel it in, too. <laughs> Matt found the shark. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, no. Well, we're going to try out this new reel. Dude, he's going to spool you. Okay, that's got to be a shark. You want to lock down on him? Or he broke you? Nope, you still got him. I just want my cork back. I got jaws. He gave up kind of early for a shark. Huh? You think it's a bull red? I don't know. I think 
gas and pull. Oh, there you go. You better get over here, buddy. Before Talking bad it. about it. It's yeah. a target species. There we go. Way to start the morning. That's a big red. That is a beast. That's a big red. Uh oh. Another one? <laughs> Wait for something to come up and eat it. Right. Yeah, we know they got teeth in the area. Everything eats everything. Yeah. Maybe he's a little bigger than you thought, huh? Yeah, I know. When we first pull him up, I think he's gonna be that big. I don't know who's winning this battle. There you go. Pretty fish. Ooh. Holy cow! Oh goodness! That's why you threw top water. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I guess I'm trying to hook one too, but I better reel it in if I can help you. No, oh, I'm gonna be a minute. Take your time. This is a medium light rod, and it was not a small red. <laughs> Go ahead, Fred. Since I've seen one hit that top water. Yeah, there's nothing like it, huh? No, it's awesome. And that's so persistent, too, because if they miss it, they're going to keep going after it until they get it. Dude, he just realized he was hooked. I didn't think he was that big, but now I do. I'm not going to let you spool me, dude. <laughs> I'll sacrifice the bait. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Off, broke he broke me. I had to. Uh, I had to thumb him. Working out. Felt a lot better. There we go. Oh. Redfish. Red? Oh yeah. There you go. That's the one you want. That's the one I like. Yeah, no doubt. Perfect size. Man, I'm going to put a shrimp on here. Where's the shrimp? Back here. Back at this lava. I got to get you a little bucket here. Yeah, I figured we'd keep a couple, but I don't know what Brady wants to do by cooking, but okay. I, don't, I don't need any. If you want them, we can keep them. Nah, I don't need any fish. This thing weighs a ton. Hope you can get that on camera. That would be so cool. If it happens. Alright, stop number one was a good one. Matt caught a bunch of reds. I had that one hooked up on top water that broke me off. Also tried a little bit with a core cam. No success with that, but we're moving on. To go find redder pastures. Oh, there he is. That didn't take long. There goes five in the water, look. Feels like the size you want to catch. Mm -hmm. That's the ones we like. All right. That's yeah, about 18. Yeah. Good fish. That didn't take but a second. No, a second. As soon as it kaplooshed, Versa Max Bolt Pro Series, 16th ounce Death Grip Jig Head and a Lemon Head Matrix Shad. Good color. Yeah, it's a good color. Good combination. We're gonna bring him to Bernie? Yeah, that's fine. Would you prefer low water or high water? I, I prefer high tide, turning the fall. Okay. 
because what'll happen is when it falls out like it is, uh -huh. there's some a lot of times they'll they'll be real real lethargic until that water gets up to a certain point and they'll they'll turn on. Okay. The only time I like it real low is when it's cold. Okay. But then they real stack real up in the holes. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it a thousand times where they just they just won't turn on and you get to the water start coming in, it'll get to a certain point and like a light switch. They turn on. It happens this time of the year where you'll pull up and you'll catch two or three or four or five and then they'll stop and then you move and then there'll be times where they'll they'll get stacked but I definitely wouldn't waste too much time in one spot because what we noticed over the last probably three weeks is that it's been an earlier bite. Okay. Um, 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, it, it just kind of dies down mm -hmm. and it's getting hot. I don't know if it's just- That's kind of typical for summer. Yeah, the water yeah. just heats up and right. the fish kind of shut down. So we've been getting out here early, trying to, trying to get an early bite, get a good, good mess in the box. But yeah, I mean, in the last couple of weeks, I could count on one hand how many times the fish bit good after 1030. Okay. This episode of Marshman Mass On is brought to you by H and H Lure Company and by Bill Lewis Lures. And by Cito New Orleans. And by SportsmansOutfitters.com. And by Community Motors. That feels catfish like. Yep. Show sure is. They, they, he, that program he's got there now, they're one of the best. That's a red, that's a red fish. Oh yeah. That's, that's got no whiskers or horns. Now Matt and I are just throwing plastic on these fish. Most days when he takes clients, he brings live shrimp. He brought some live shrimp today. I used them a little bit under that core cam to no effect, but it just kind of shows you, you definitely don't need the live stuff. Doesn't hurt to bring it, but you can catch fish out here throwing nothing but plastic. It's a nice red. Something took a chunk out of him, you saw that? Oh yeah. This away. It's Uncle Matt. That's right. Come to Daddy. Dude, there's a male. I mean, catch a lot. Look at, that. Look at the back. A lot of male fish lately. Almost looks like a prop got him, huh? Yeah, down on an arrow. Well, we're gonna let him go either way. It's probably about a 27. 27. Yeah. 27, 28. Yeah, he got a big point on his tail. And I was like, man. Oh. It was catfish like. I don't know. Maybe not. I should have insulted him. I don't know. I'm thinking cat. Now I'm definitely thinking cat. Oh, Ooh, big doormat. Look at this guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, nice. Dude, when it was coming up, I was like, like why should it be a fly, should be a fly under? Under? <laughs> You should have said it. I didn't, well, I didn't want to jinx this. Oh, he ain't going home. Oh, what is that? Feel redfish like? Yeah. It was looking redfish like. See if we get a double, Matt. If not, I'll get the net. <laughs> I got him. I think it's a red. Yeah. Yeah, it's a red. Good eater. He's legal. I think he's legal. Should be. Ooh, he's be borderline, huh? Yeah, we'll let him go. We'll let him. Let them fight another day. I might eat them tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> Catch him with a client. Oh, uh, see that point on his tail? Yeah, he might that's, be able to stretch gonna, it. That's gonna make him. That's gonna make him <laughs> 60. He, he, he Unlucky for him. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, little brother. You better go shave that point. Uh oh. And watch. Uh oh. Black shrimp? No. Nope. Just a jig. Just a gulp. He was right up in that nervous water, huh? Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's looking redfish like for yeah. sure. Good fish. He just spit up something. Did he? he uh, ever since that river fell, man, a lot of nice fish have showed up. Look how fat that. That's a that's a tournament fish. Like look how thick that fish is. He's been eating good. 
He just he spit up something that he ate. That. That's a fatty. That's a fat fish. Nice. Lucky for him. He's not keeping fish his size. Yeah, he's an under. That's a fatty though. Got a belly like me. <laughs> not leave my rod laying in the water too long. Oh. All right, little brother. See you later. Now, I'm not sure we've caught fish at every single stop, but it's been pretty darn close. We have. I think we have. I can't think of a stop we made where we didn't catch them. And that's all artificial. All artificial, yep. Got one? Goodness, I threw in his mouth. <laughs> Is that incredible? I threw in his mouth. I'm looking like, where's my cork? <laughs> it's crazy how fast they can pick it up sometimes, man. It's just like it done stop. It just fell right in front of his face. So Matt, is this bite so good just because that river's falling out or has it been it, just it, good this year? It's It's been a great last two years for redfish over here. Uh, there's just been a lot of fish. A lot of times when the river's real high, they'll, they'll have to stack up on these outside points. But ever since the river started dropping, it seems like some bigger fish and some new fish showed up. A lot of the, the bait, the mullet and the pogies kind of showed up and the fish kind of followed them in. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great next few months. So you'd say you're definitely seeing more bait now than you did oh, yeah. a few weeks you see, ago? You've seen these okay. big rafts of mullet and stuff, and we weren't seeing that. I mean, you would see a little bit of bait so. fish when you pulled up to the point, but now I mean, with the jacks and all that, chasing all the, the schools of, of mullet around, and definitely seeing a lot more bait. Okay. Lot, getting a lot more salt water in here. All right, you're gonna fight me a while, aren't you? And he was right up on that point. And so what about water clarity? Has it improved in oh, the last few weeks? It's, it's definitely, definitely gotten okay. prettier. We had, we had a little stretch for about a week of some algae bloom, but that kind of is gone. And, and actually, it, it's, it's been cleaner than, than it is today, but it's still, still nice. I mean, the, I can see the foot of the trolling motor is down about 16, 18 inches in the okay. water, and I can see it. So. But even if it's dirty, and if you have shrimp, I mean, they'll, they'll still be there. Okay. Uh, we catch fish over here in dirty water all year long basically so if there's bait there they're still yeah. going to be there yeah they should be i mean they have nowhere else to go right you know when they get to these outside points i mean well see they had to go out to the islands or to the rigs but other right. than that there's nowhere else to go the other side he went he yeah. ate it too Ooh, he done nice fish another fatty yeah definitely how fat these fish are yeah, crazy yeah Fat fish. Eating good. Goodness. You get real sick when those, those pokies show up. Good healthy fish. Man, you gotta love it. How about that? Let's go, big boy. So this is a point that we passed earlier, and Matt noticed when he was running the boat by it that it had some birds on it. And so that's why he stopped to fish here on the way back. Yeah, a lot of times when you run in these shorelines, if you see a lot of those white birds walking down the bank. Stop and try it because a lot of times that means there'll, there'll be a lot of bait fish there and, and, and they'll be oh, oh he broke me off. <laughs> There's some fish on this point. He took all of it. But he yeah, took the cork too, huh? Yeah, he got the cork okay. and got it all. Yeah, also I also feel like when the birds are on the on the it kind of it's an indication the fish are pushing the bait against that shoreline, right, right? Right. Yeah. And and it, it may be a little late now, but a lot, like May, June. When you see those birds, a lot of times they'll, they'll have a lot of, it's when the glass minnows are hatching. Okay. And so when, when that happens, and you can pull up to a point like this, and when, on a fallen tide and the, and the glass minnows are hatching, you'll see the fish just beach themselves up on the bank. Right. Eating those glass minnows. And the cork may pop up somewhere. Oh, look, there's your cork. Look at that. See it? Uh-uh. Black, right by the point. You see oh, it? It sure is. Oh, I'm gonna get my jig out. I dare him to come over this way. That tells you he's there. He's still feeding. Let me see if I can catch him. That'd be awesome. If he comes this way, I'm gonna get my bait cast and try to snag the cork. That would be awesome. He's coming. Look, he's coming. Come on, dude. You gotta hear that. Yeah, 
Oh, he's coming. He's coming right at it. Please eat it. Please eat it. Oh, he turned left. Come on, dude, listen. How crazy is that, dude? <laughs> there he goes. He passed it right up. He's like, uh-uh. That's, that that's not real. Oh, dude, that's a beast. Let me get the net. Come here, buddy. We'll let you go. We're gonna let you go. We can turn some water with that big old yeah, wide no body. You're right. It's a tank. Big bruiser. Big freak nasty. Did it come up? Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Yep. Cast, oh, yeah, it's far. You can pull the power poles and go. Go get them. Almost right, had it? right next to the court. I almost had him. Gotta get him back in that shallow water. Come back that way. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I see the cork. Oh yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. He's gotta be exhausted. Dragging that cork around. Oh, oh, you got it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Matt lost his fish, and we've been watching the cork swim around this point. So we just cast at it and snagged the cork. See how long it holds. Does he feel nice? Yeah. Yep, look at the cork. He's like, not this again. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> got your cork back. And best of all for you, dude, you get to be free of the cork. Yep. I know it sucked having to fight twice. About a 25, would you say? Yeah. Skinny fish. Skinny fish, yeah. I like the other ones. Let them go back and eat some more. Go ahead, dude. All right, Matt and I have had just a fantastic day fishing every single stop. We were sitting here thinking if we stopped anywhere where we didn't catch any fish, and I don't think we did. Now, it's not hot and heavy at every point, but every point is holding some fish. You just cover a few of them, and you're going to catch a limit before very long. Spectacular action over here on the east side of Lower Plaquemines Parish. And I'll tell you something else that we got going for us today. Delta Marina is cooking again. They got a restaurant there. It was closed for a while, but now it's reopened. I think it's just open Thursday through Sunday, something like that. But the chef there is going to cook some of our fish for us and maybe some other stuff as well. I don't know. It's still early. It's not even 9 o'clock, but we're about to head in and we're going to get a bite to eat. So I'm going to show you all that as well. All right, so Matt is cleaning the fish and Chef Bernie is doing some prep work, getting ready to cook them for us. And I've heard about Bernie's reputation. He is a phenomenal chef. I'm really looking forward to this. All right, Chef Bernie, what's the plan for today? Today we're going to be doing a prime example of catch and cook. Catch and cook, basically, that's when anglers go out, they catch their fish, they bring it back here, and you prepare it for them. Correct? Exactly. A lot of that happens a lot with our cabin renters because they don't want to cook it at home, and so um, what we'll do is we'll cook it here at the restaurant. And I'll give them several options to choose from, whether it's oysters on top, or shrimp, or blackened, bronze, bait. However they like. They'll have some options and I'll do uh, whatever it is they want to do. All right, awesome. And what are you going to do for these fish today? Today we're going to be blackening some redfish and I'm going to top the blackened redfish with an oyster and andouille artichoke sauce. Oh, well that doesn't sound good at all. Oh, well, you're going <laughs> to love it, I promise. All right. Let's see how this goes. Restaurant comes from that with the fish. I'm bringing the goods. The man of the hour. Perfect size for this. Yeah, no doubt. So, we start off with a little clarified butter. I'm doing sausage. Green onion bottoms. We're going to add our gar garlic to it, about a tablespoon and a half. Next is going to be artichoke hearts. Nice. 
Next is going to be just a touch of Liam Perrins. Reduce it just for a second. Oyster liquor. That's the juice out of the bucket of a gallon of oysters. And we're going to reduce this for those reduced by half. Okay. Push your salt and black pepper. While that's reducing, we're going to, in the black iron skillet, we're going to start our fish. That's black and red fish magic. Paul Perdomes. Paul Perdomes. Proud graduate of the place. You hold the tail on top like that, so when you roll the fish over, it'll be on the bottom, and that fish is all the same thickness. That way it cooks even. Yeah. You don't lose the tail when you're trying to scrape it out the bottom of the skillet. I've never done that, but that's brilliant. That's our tip of the day. Tip of the day, at least. Apply a little more butter to the back side of each piece of fish. Okay, the sauce is reduced by half. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna add, we're gonna add whole room temperature butter to it. If you're a calorie counter, you probably should not watch this. No. You should ne I never watch any chef cook. No, you should just eat it. It's fine. Right. We're gonna take these whole skillets and put them into a 450 degree oven for four minutes and they'll be finished. Meanwhile, the fish will finish the sauce while the fish is cooking. A little more black pepper. Then we're gonna add whole oysters to it. Like so. Italian flat leaf parsley. Oh, okay. Get a splash of hot sauce at the very end. Oyster, artichoke, and andouille. <laughs> Man says it's good. I got no reason to doubt it. All right, literally like an hour ago, these fish were swimming. And now they're about to be swimming in Captain Matt's belly. Let's see what he thinks. Take off my hat first. Let's see. Let's see. A little oyster. Wow. That's real good. Real good. Best thing you've eaten in a while? Mm-hmm. Very, very good. All right, now it's my turn. Get some andouille. Mmm. Food shouldn't be this good at a marina. This is incredible. That's awesome. Thanks, Chef Bernie. Man, it simply does not get any better. What a great time down here at Delta Marina. Excellent fishing today with Matt Care, and we top it off with one of the best meals literally I've had in many, many, many months. I mean, just delicious. Shout out to Chef Bernie. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Marshman Mats on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mats on.